二零二三年 Paper One A 第十二到第十四條 MC 咧，就係睇翻以下呢兩張嘅顯微照片嘅，咁啊分別有唔同類型嘅放大率啦、高倍數、低倍數啦，咁佢哋就顯示咗植物嘅某一個部分嘅環切面圖像嘅。咁題目咧，第十二條就叫我哋做翻個配對啦，就要配對翻究竟呢一幅圖顯示緊嘅係植物嘅邊一個部分咧？呢、這個切面係邊度嚟嘅咧？同埋啦，喺呢幅圖有冇啲咩嘅證據去支持我哋嘅答案呢？咁而家啦，嗱左手邊呢兩幅圖呢，就係題目嘅，右手邊呢兩幅圖呢，就係書嘅。咁你睇都睇得到啦，利用返低倍數嘅呢幅圖呢，我哋可以肯定啦，佢係一個勁嘅環切面嚟嘅。所以呢條題目呢，第一樣要考我哋嘅就係分唔分得清徑同埋根呢？咁利用返書本呢幅圖，我哋知道咗啦、啊。答案呢應該鎖定咗係 C 或者 D 之後呢，題目就再考我哋啦。究竟我哋知唔知得到喺植物嘅唔同部分，佢哋個圍管束嘅分布又會如何呢？咁而家啦，我哋就瞄住 C 同 D 呢，講講個答案先。C 呢一句説話呢，佢就話啦：哦，喺個表皮嗰處呢，我哋見到有一個角質層、哦。咁其實呢句答案呢，係一個好強勁嘅干擾答案，因為本身啊呢一句説話本質上面係正確嘅，因為啦喺個勁嘅表皮呢，佢的確係有個角質層，不過喺呢幅圖嗰度你睇唔到啊，你唔能夠觀察到佢啊嘛，係咪？咁所以啦呢一句呢，仍然都係錯嘅答案。咁換言之，答案就係 D 啦，因為啦我哋喺低倍數嗰幅圖呢，我哋都見得到啦，個圍管束呢。就係氹氹跨喺個徑嘅外圍部分，喺個外圈嘅部分 ，peripheral 即係外圍嘅部分，或者啦有陣時啲書咧佢就會叫做 peripheral 嘅 region 啦，嚇都係講緊外圍嘅位置咁解啫。咁呢個咧都係同我哋本書嗰個擺位咧都係吻合噶嘛。咁所以啦 ，D 咧就係答案啦。咁睇翻 A 同 B 啦，點解會錯啦？首先啊，我哋齋睇幅圖已經知道佢冇可能係根啦。咁但係呢兩個答案都有機會陰到下人㗎喎、哦，尤其是係 A 呢個答案啦，因為呢，佢就講咯、哦，喺嗰個表皮上面有啲毛毛喎、哦，咦，係咯，有啲毛毛咯，咁其實呢一下都係博大毛嘅啫，係一個非常之強勁嘅 distractor， 咁因為啦，你見到呢兩條毛毛就當咗佢根毛嘅話呢。咁就錯咗啦，因為邊有可能得兩條咁少呢？係咪？跟住啦，就到 B 呢個選項咯喎。嗱，呢個呢，都係喺幅圖見得到㗎喎、哦。哦，喺個切面嘅中央位置呢，就有啲薄壁細胞喎、哦。嗱，呢一句本身呢，其實正正就係形容緊個 stem， 形容緊個徑啊嘛，係咪？咁所以更加肯定呢 B 唔會係答案，因為佢根本就係指鹿為馬嗰、那個證據呢，就指向住個徑嘅。但個答案又話佢係根喎，咁咪即係牛頭唔搭馬嘴咯，係咪？仲有一樣嘢呢，想提一提大家嘅，就係喺返根嘅環切面呢。其實我哋要去觀察返個圍管束嘅位置呢，其實佢應該係喺個根部嘅中央位置 （central region） 啦。我今日睇返啦，過往呢都有唔少題目呢，都係有關於根啊、徑啊嗰啲嘅切面嘅，又或者佢哋一啲相關嘅結構嘅。二零一四年呢，仲考過大家畫圖添，咁所以立快快手睇下片揾下書咯噃。Two to three paper one A question twelve to fourteen refer to the photo micrograph which shows the images of the cross section of a certain part of a plant view under different magnification. We have the low magnification and the high magnification. And for the question, it asks us to To do the matching, we need to do the combination, match the part of the plant where the section was taken from, and supporting evidence from the photo micrograph. So on the left hand side, we have these two photo micrographs from the question, and the two photo micrograph on the right hand side, they are taken from the book. So we can see that from the low magnification images, we can see that it should be the stem of the plant. Therefore, for this question, the first concept we are checking is to ask us to distinguish stem from root, and then we need to recall the distribution of the vascular bundles in different parts of the plants. So let's take a look at the answer. Because we know that it is the stem, therefore, option C and D they are the potential answer. And then for option C, it says that. There is cuticle on the epidermis. This choice is a powerful distractor because for this statement itself, it is true. However, 
that is something we cannot observe from this diagram, from the photomicrograph. Therefore, it is not the answer. Therefore, the answer is D. Because from the photomicrograph, we can see that the vascular bundles are at the periphery. So it is this area for the vascular bundle and it matches the diagram in the book. Therefore, option D is the answer. We use the observation from the photomicrograph to draw this conclusion. So we also go through options A and B. Option A, it is a root because there is hair on the epidermis. It's also the powerful distractor. Because some students, they may misunderstand that these two extensions, they are the root hair. However, they are not. There should be a lot of root hair on the root epidermis. And then for option B, with thin wall cell at the center. Actually, oh, that's something you can really see from the diagram. However, this evidence is just showing that it should be the stem rather than the root. Therefore, it's a mismatch features. Therefore, option A and B are also wrong. And then you can see that for the vascular tissues in the root, they should be in the central region. They should be in the center. So you can see that there were different questions asked about the root and stem cross-section and the structure in the root hair cells. And even in 214 question, it asked us to do the drawing of the photomicrograph. So, so take your time, watch the video and do the revision.